Hallelujah. Such a glorious week again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful Monday. We give you praise. We give you honor and glory. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for such a beautiful time in your presence. As we look into your word, bless our hearts and minister grace unto us and everyone. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So excited. I want to read one scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6. He said, Note that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who had also made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But my emphasis today will just be on this note that we should not be self sufficient. Remember the scripture. Remember the scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 5 to 6. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. We must understand that we don't we don't have the power and the capacity of our own. Don't be ever self-sufficient. Remember, even the Lord made us to understand that we have no power of our own. He said, if we abide in Him, He will make us to bear fruit. So there's no way you can become self-sufficient. Our sufficiency is of God. The provision you have today, it is God that made it available. The strength you have today, it is God that made it available. The power you are exercising today in ministry or in every area of your life, it is God that made it available. The resources, the business, the job you own today, it is God that made it available. So you must understand that we are not sufficient of ourselves, but our sufficiency comes from God. Whenever you begin to think that you are sufficient of yourself, there is danger on the way because you tend to lose what you will have. But I pray God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we surrender with a genuine heart. We surrender to you. We have no power of our own. Our sufficiency indeed comes from you. With you, we have everything. I'm telling you that is one of the keys that we must understand. Once you have God, you have everything. Therefore, Father, we depend on you today. No matter the riches we might have acquired, no matter the wealth we might have acquired, no matter the wisdom we might have acquired, no matter how well spoken we might be, we still depend on you because of our sufficiency is in you. With you, we have everything. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, we look unto you today as we enter this new week. Oh Lord, let everything begin to work out for our good in Jesus' name. Anyone that is standing on the way, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. We put our faith in you, O oh Jesus Christ. See us through the way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, remember to share to your loved ones, to your friends, to your family. See you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.